Okay, so finding the shortcuts of these derivatives, I can see the very first one is the derivative of a constant, so that's just a number, would be zero. The next one I see is the power rule, so I would bring the 34 down front and then subtract one, they become 33. Next, same thing is a power rule, so bring the 3 sevenths down front and then subtract 1, so 3 sevenths minus 7 over 7 would be x to the 4 sevenths. Now next, this you could say is the sum rule, or you can look at each one of these individually. The derivative of 3x is just 3, and then 19 is a constant, so it goes away. Next one, I bring the 4 down and multiply it by that 3, so 12t, and then subtract 1. Minus 2 times 8, 16t, 2 minus 1, so 1. This one I probably want to manipulate a little bit, and I remember I can bring that exponent to the top if I make it negative. And so now I can bring the negative 10 down, subtract 1, so it's negative 10 minus 1, which would be negative 11. And if you wanted, you could put the power back down on the bottom, that's 11. Next one, I probably do the same thing. I would bring the 3.5 up, so that makes it negative. When you bring the 3.5 down, so I kind of should have set up here, now that was the derivative. When you bring the 3.5 down and there's a negative already out front, so a negative and a negative makes it a positive 3.5, and then z to the negative 3.5 minus 1, so negative 4.5. The root you want to rewrite as x to the 1 over 22. And so then the derivative would be 1 over 22. I can't even read my handwriting. 1 over 22 out front, x to the 1 over 22 minus 1, which would be 1 over 22 minus 22 over 22. So that would be negative 21 over 22. So again, that piece right there is 1 over 22 minus 1, and we're just calling 1 22 over 22 to get a common denominator. Okay, now this next one might take a couple of steps to actually get in the uh, a format that I can actually write in. So the first thing I'm going to do is say, well, that's the same thing as 1 over x to the 35th power to the 1 half, because square root's 1 half. Then I can bring the 35th power to the top, makes it negative to the 1 half. And then finally, I remember that I can multiply that inside, so negative 35 over 2. And so now to find this actual derivative then would be, or if I can find my, my pencil, would be, go, 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 f prime of x would be bringing the negative 35 over 2 down x to the negative 35 over 2 minus 1, so minus 2 over 2, and I get negative 37 over 2. So you need to get to a point where you don't have to think about, oh, wait, I'm bringing this. Otherwise, you won't finish your test, right? So you need to be pretty quick at using this power rule.